Um, I have the great pleasure of introducing the kind of initial lineup before we break into tracks. Uh, we're going to have Matt's, the creator of Ruby. He's going to be kicking us off. Uh, he's an incredibly smart and nice guy. I've met him a few times and listened to many of his talks. Um, he's inspired many aspects of Crystal, so uh, I can't wait to hear what he has to say. Um, following will be Beta. He's going to be talking about the Crystal 1.0 and uh, what the core team has been doing and what the future, or what the future holds. And then after that, we'll be having Ari, who's the creator of Crystal. And uh, I won't spoil anything because I actually haven't heard anything about his talk. So uh, I'm excited to see it um, and hear what he has to say as much as I hope that you're all excited to hear that. And then we will be splitting into track one and two. That'll be the beginning of kind of our split into tracks. And we'll have a, uh, some intro, or we'll have some instructions kind of at the end of the, the three headliners uh, to let you know how and when to do that. And uh, without further ado, can we bring Matt's video on screen? Hello. Uh, this is Matt, the creator of the Ruby language. And uh, yeah, thank you for having me at the, this crystal conference. Since the language, the Ruby and crystals are quite similar, but different. And I'm pretty honored to, to be had in this conferences. And then, you know, since, you know, the crystal was delivered from, uh, derived from Ruby, so that I'm rather the grandfather of the crystal language. But it, now today I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, the seek for the one to language. Uh, in the in the Lord of the Rings, so the, there's a sentence like the one ring to rule them all. But uh, in the the field of programming language, there's no one to language. But uh, but uh, we still seek for. Uh, good languages, and uh, but uh, we have to define good before uh, when we are seeking for the, the good languages. Some people believe in the fast programming language, so that uh, being fast, be, uh, being the fast programming language is the you know the justice for them. The other people believe in the the conciseness is the, the attribute of the good programming language, major attribute of the good programming language. Uh, some believe in the, the soundness in theoretically, theoretically soundness uh, is the, you know, the major attribute to have in the, the good programming language. Uh, some, including me, believe in the being found being uh, to programming in it is the the best feature to have in the good programming language so the defining the good programming language or even designing the good programming language has so many many variables so that in 1993 the way back you know 28 years ago i collected all good things in in the programming language field in into one so that i pick every uh feature in the the many many programming language into one and combined and redesigned and created ruby programming language so that when i released ruby in 1995 i proposed my good programming language to the world and then you know this is Oh, look at me, look at me, look this. Uh, this is my good programming language. Uh, use it if you like it. And then some agreed, some disagreed. But, uh, but I think it's okay. But, uh, you know, the, the definition of good programming language is different from person to person, programmer to programmer. It's okay. And then uh, the language crystal, uh, 
the people behind the crystal almost agreed with me. I believe <laughs> that's because they started from uh, Ruby. Uh, but uh, they didn't satisfy all of the Ruby. And then I think that's the reason they created new programming languages. Okay, uh, some people try to create a alternative implementation of Ruby language like JRuby or Truffle Ruby or you know Iron Ruby or so many uh, other alternative implementation of the Ruby languages. So that uh, some implementation is faster or even the server side things or many many aspects. But uh, the people behind Crystal decided created their own programming languages. Uh, probably because for performance or, or maybe because of, of static typing. But uh, that's okay, that's okay. Uh, I am a creator of the language and I, I, I encourage other people to create their own programming language because designing language is so interesting, so amusing, and it's, you know, so fun. And uh, yeah, I, I encourage many, as many programming as possible to join the camp of the language designers. And I also believe in diversity so that uh, there is no one programming, true programming language. The people, uh, people focus on different things. So that uh, as a result, the design of the uh, programming language, the good programming language should be deferred by designer by designer. But that I believe we all must seek for the best best software, best programming language. And uh, I, I admit Ruby is not my best programming language, but uh, the future Ruby will be. You know, it's, it's so difficult to predict the future and uh, define everything at once and uh, at the beginning. So that, that we, you know, progress step by step. But that, uh, by designing Ruby, by creating Ruby, by developing Ruby, uh, we consider so many ideas and the polishing Ruby into the best programming language ever, at least for me personally. So that, uh, that, that's the reason why I say the future Ruby will be the best programming language. Hopefully. Uh, how about you? Uh, Crystal is your best programming language, and then, or Crystal will be your best programming language. If so, it's great. Uh, I er I encourage the search for the best programming language. I encourage the best uh, search for the best software technique and the software fra framework and technology. And, uh, and in addition, I encourage the creation of new languages and a new technology, new frameworks. And then uh, I really, really encourage the creation. Uh, the creation, uh, the, the crystal is the creation of the Ruby. So the, that is, uh, my owner, because I could, that, that, that is, that means that I could encourage them to, or inspire them to create new programming languages. And then, you know, in the past, we, I also inspired uh, DHH to create a Ruby on Rails frame, web framework. But the web framework, the Ruby on Rails uh, change the scene of the web application framework. Uh, similar things could happen to Crystal. 
So the crystal, I inspired the people behind crystal. The crystal could inspire the people behind the, uh, some framework like a castle or something. And then, and then this new creation of technologies, I believe uh, could drive the progress of the technology. And then I believe this progress could uh, end up in the making the world better. So that I very really uh, believe the existing of crystal itself is the good sign of uh, my belief will be come true, making the better world. And uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you for creating crystal, and uh, thank you for attending the crystal conferences, and uh, thank you for having me. Uh, bye bye. Awesome. Thank you, Matt. Um, I'm going to be asking uh, a quick question just while one comes in, which is, uh, Matt, uh, what was an alternative name for Ruby um, before it was named Ruby? We're chatting about <laughs> the alternative names for Crystal before. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to name it after the Joel, like Pro. Yep. And, uh, and I had uh, two candidates. One is Ruby. The other mm -hmm. is Coral. Oh, okay. Because coral ends end with L, so that it uh, it must be a good candidate for the, the some kind of the acronym. But uh, I easily uh, ended up with me in Ruby. And, okay. And uh, Very nice. yeah, I just gave up the idea of acronym for the language <laughs> name. <laughs> Bean and Y and too too difficult to, to make up made up the acronyms. That makes sense. Well, I like the name. I think it, it's carried on well. Um, it, is there any uh, any other advice that you'd like to give to the the crystal community before uh, we move on to the next talk? Uh, you know, the, after the time of the you know the long beta uh, time, so the crystal has a different path from the ruby, and uh, I believe it it is good, and uh, I I hope. And uh, I expect a crystal to uh, explore the new field to define the good language and uh, uh, push the boundary of the language design and uh, mm -hmm. provide uh, uh, effective and uh, productivity in, to the users uh, by providing some kind of the good features and the desirable aspect of the language. So I really uh, expect uh, the, the future of crystal yeah we will definitely carry that forward i think we uh intend to carry or to build a good language and to really push the boundaries um uh, has matt's used crystal for any projects or are you interested in uh mostly the concepts right now uh whoever asked that is pretty insightful question about the concepts do you uh have you used any uh, use crystal for any projects or um, yeah, are you no, not not any big project but uh, I I tried crystal for write some kind of a small program a small example program like a hello world and a Fibonacci example or something like that <laughs> but uh, uh, I read through the the reference and uh, the, I want I was pretty interested in the difference from the Ruby and uh, yeah, that's different. Some I agree with the difference because of the you know the Ruby needs to keep the compatibility so that it is pretty difficult to change the language mm -hmm. by breaking the compatibility. But the Crystal is the new language, so that you don't have to worry about the breaking the past. <laughs> yeah, compatibility and breaking is is uh, pretty. I mean, I think from different communities we've seen how difficult that can be to overcome. Mm -hmm. um, are there things from Crystal that you would like to add to Ruby? Or I'm going to add to this question, are there things from Ruby that you would like to add to Crystal? Either way. Uh, actually, the, the Crystal fiber is kind, kind of interesting things. And uh, we have it gradually adopted by the async fiber in the Ruby. So the, the, one of the you know, source of the inspiration is the Crystal fiber. Uh, the, the different things is that, you know, we are uh, in the Ruby community, we are working on the static typing, the different mm -hmm. type of static typing. But uh, you know, the you know the crystals attempt 
to adapt the, the static typing to the, the Ruby-like language is, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, th we learned lessons from your experiences. Mm -hmm. This and is we, a... we took the, we took the different path though. Yeah. Um, do you think that different path is for not is the different path because you don't want to break compatibility in uh, the twofold? I don't. One thing is that we, yeah, compatibility. Yeah, we don't have we don't want to break the past. And uh, the different uh, the other things is that once we add the static typing, especially the type declaration to the language, so that everyone, you know. Some people in the community force other users to write that, that type declaration everywhere. Like mm -hmm. uh, we see, like we see in the PHP community and the Python community. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, that's that. I believe that would break the uh, you know the, the the community culture of the duck typing or the dynamic aspect of the programming. So mm -hmm. that I don't want to introduce the you know the type declaration, the type annotation to the language. So that we added the, uh, you know, the type checking, static type checking tools, like, uh, you know, like type profilers and mm -hmm. then other, the, the static type checker, like uh, Solbane and Steep. And then yeah. the Ruby, in, in the Ruby community, so we do the static typing via the external tools, not in the language. Okay, okay. And this is from Postmodern. Do you envision the possibility of a future Ruby implementation written in Crystal instead of C? Yeah, that's quite interesting. Yeah, that'd be very interesting. Or what, do you think Crystal or an alternative language could be used in the implementation of Ruby? Uh, I, I'm not sure because of the, you know, I, I myself is a C person, so that I'm, <laughs> you know, the old long long experience the C programmer so that yeah I am too familiar with the C tools around the you know Python and the, the flex and the other tools so that maybe some other implementation may interested in the writing that kind of the static tools in crystal because mm -hmm. the crystal is very uh, similar to Ruby and uh, you know and uh, it is very productive. At the same time, it has the performance of the you know the system programming 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 uh, system programming language like uh, Go, Rust, and uh, other other C C plus plus or something like that. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Thank you so much, Matt. Thank you. And Thank we're gonna, you. Yeah, <laughs> um, it's really nice to have Matt on. Uh, he's been such a, a foundational character in the Ruby community. Um, and now we're going to have on Beta, who's going to talk a little bit about Crystal 1.0 and some things the core team will and, and has been working on.